In 1789, Benjamin Franklin wrote to French scientist Jean-Baptiste Leroy, in this world, nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes. Well, fast forward 200 plus years later, and to that list of facts of life, you can add spam and malware. And that's why you need actually securing email with Cisco Email Security Appliance. Welcome, I'm Catherine Paquet, a longtime security enthusiast and also a longtime Cisco instructor. And in this class, I'm going to tell you all about Cisco ESA. ESA is in short for Email Security Appliance. And we're going to talk actually how the ESA can help your organization with protecting against spammers, malware, and also data loss. Data loss would be if you have one of your users inadvertently sending an email that would have corporate information in it. To start our understanding of what the ESA can do for us, we have to actually start looking at the mechanism that will protect our email infrastructure. And at the heart, at the heart of that protection, we have actually Cisco Telos. Telos is the organization within Cisco that is in charge of security intelligence. So they track in real time the activity happening around the world of good actors that sends large volume of email, uh, bad actors that are spammers, and very bad actors that also propagate malware. And they publish also statistics. So here on the screen, we have actually the statistics for last month that it just published. And last month, which was October 2018, was at 85%, about 85% of emails sent in the world was spam. Talos not only give us retrospective uh, analysis, like we just saw the statistics, but they also, as I mentioned, track in real time actually what's happening around the world. So that screenshot was done the morning of November 5th. And on that morning in real time, Telos was tracking in different location per IP address who had good reputation as senders, who had average reputation or neutral reputation as senders, and whom do we know for a fact to have a bad reputation. They also track actually all things that has to do with security and malicious activity. And they reported actually last quarter the list of the 10 top email extension that propagate malware in a corporate network. And at the top actually you will see here Office. You see zip file, you see PDF. How many of us are receiving email which has as for attachment Excel, PowerPoint, Word or PDF? So all those attachments can be sources of infection. So to protect actually your email infrastructure and also the security of your corporate network, you want to start using the Cisco Email Security Appliance. And what the, the ESA will provide to you, it's going to provide to you what we call threat defense. It's going to protect you against spammers. It's going to protect you against malware. And it will also protect you against phishing attack. It also protects you for data security. And the data security, that would be actually the loss, losing information. So someone sending an email advertently or not advertently talking about the project X that your organization is working on. And another advantage we have with the ESA is it's ease of manageability, that you have the CLI, but moreover, you have the GUI to accomplish many tasks on the, on the ESA. And as I mentioned with the previous two slides, is that the force of the, the strength, should I say, of the ESA is the fact that it's being fed meaningful security intelligence coming from Talos. So let's look at the 30,000 foot view of all the hoops all the security that the email security appliance will provide to you. And all of those hoops that we will see very quickly on this recording will be covered actually in detail in upcoming recordings. So the first hoops that your email will go through is actually 
when someone try to, when you have a male transfer agent, more on male transfer agent in the next recording, but the male transfer agent is an email server on the internet, is trying to send a message to your ESA. And when we start a connection, well, we will start with a doing a handshake, TCP handshake, and the SMTP conversation, more on that in the next recording. All this to say that when we see the first, at the, the beginning of that session of someone wanted to send an email to our organization, the ESA right away will consult actually with TELUS to see if the sender is known to have a good reputation, a social reputation, or a bad reputation. And if TELUS is telling us, we consult in real time with TELUS, and if TELUS says, you know, this particular sender with this IP address is known to be a spammer, your ESA right away can decide to drop that message or could also put it in query, uh, could, my bad here, uh, if we know that this is a bad actor, for sure, we will actually, drop. usually we drop the connection. You could also decide to say, well, it's got a so-so reputation, so we could actually do throttling. Say, we'll accept the connection, but we'll put a little bit more check on it. More on all this in upcoming session. But let's say that that email, the sender's IP address here is unknown. So TELUS does not yet know that IP address is the first time. We're querying TELUS and it has never hear anything good or bad about that IP address sending email. So that email then survived the first check against spammer. That email will then be checked against dynamic spam. Dynamic spam is actually once the message has been received, before we give it to our users, your ESA will start looking at the words, how that email was constructed, where is it coming from. So at different, at the context of that email and how that email was put together, and your ESA will deduce if that email is spam, definite spam, probable spam, or no spam whatsoever. So let's say, and more on this actually, on what we call IPASS, Iron Port Anti-Spam, in an upcoming lecture. Let's say that this email survived your dynamic spam scanning, uh, what we call Cisco NT spam. The email will then continue and go through more hoops. The next hoop that this email will go through will be antivirus. Antivirus, you'll have a choice to have Sophos and or McAfee that will actually look at the attachment and will decide if the attachment is virus infected, drop it, or if there's no problem with the attachment, maybe this email, this email will be allowed to continue, not maybe, it will be allowed to continue if there's no problem with the attachment. Is it out of the hoops yet? No. Then your email will then be checked against uh, advanced malware protection, where the attachment, the ESA will calculate the SHA-256, the fingerprint of that attachment, will query the AMP cloud, advanced malware protection, we always call it AMP, the AMP cloud, and we'll receive actually a reputation score. This attachment is clean, this uh, attachment is malware infected, or this attachment is unknown. If it's clean, the message will go on its way. If it's malware infected, we can drop. What about if it's unknown? Well, in this case, your ESA might be configured to upload a copy of that email to the sandbox for inspection, while the original copy will go in quarantine until we get our answer. If it's malware infected, we drop it. If it's clean, it's on its way. Is it out of the woods yet? You guessed it, no. The next step actually that we're gonna do with that message will be to be analyzed by our outbreak filters. So what are outbreak filters? It's basically when, the, when TELUS starts to have suspicions about an email. Maybe because there's a new IP address that, that TELUS just became aware of yesterday, and all, all of a sudden this morning, that new IP address that we noticed yesterday, this morning it's starting, that IP address is spitting out 200,000 email. That's fishy. If you have a brand new IP address the night before, and now 200,000 email is leaving from that IP address, a little bit weird. So what TELUS does is that in real time, it notifies all the ESAs around the world 
hey everyone, be careful with an email with the word, let's say that email that is 200,000 copies of that email, and the title of that email, the subject of that email happens to be shark, well, all the ESAs of the world will be told, if you receive an email and the title is shark, just put it in quarantine. We are working on it. And as Talos investigates the issue with that email, Talos is keeping the ESA aware to keep